Hello folks, this is Norm the teacher and I'm going to teach you something here. Today I'm going to do a quick video, five or six minutes, on removing the uh, radiator from a 1991 Mazda 626 uh, with a 2.2 liter engine. I'm, making, I'm going to make this a quick video because I have limited memory on my, tel my phone. Okay, the first thing you got to do is you got to remove the fan. The, the, the fan in front of is positioned behind the uh, radiator. And what it does is uh, when things get real hot, the fan turns on and uh, removes heat from the uh, coolant. Okay, there's two bottom bolts. They're 10 millimeter bolts that go into this slotted hole and this slotted hole. The slotted hole is nice because all you have to do is loosen the bolts and then the, the, the fan will pull up. Uh, you don't have to take the bolts all the way out. Then there will be two 10 millimeter bolts at the top of the radiator here and here, you'll have to take those bolts all the way out. And they will be located in this area. Uh, one of them will be located in this area, and the, the other top uh, bolt will be located in this area. On my radiator, they broke off, and I have patched the radiator. I've patched the holes. Uh, but you'll, you will have, uh, on your car, uh, two holes here, okay? Those four bolts, 10 millimeter bolts, hold this fan in, okay? Then, once you remove those 10 millimeter bolts, you'll have to disconnect two electrical connectors on the driver's side of the car, which is here. Right by this fuse box, there's two electrical connectors that these plug into. One, one wire uh, runs the fan, and another is a, is a heat sensor that, that turns on the fan when the, the temperature gets up to a certain point. That's that heat sensor right there. Okay, then, now let's get this out of the way. That's the fan. Uh, out of the car. The top of the fan, back of the fan. You have to get that fan out of the way because it'll forever be in your way on certain things. Now, when removing that fan, remove this bracket. You can recognize this part of the engine. Remove that bracket, it'll forever be in your way trying to pull that out. Okay, now, another thing you'll have to do to remove the radiator is get this hose out of the way. This, this goes to the overflow uh, container, just pull it off. That's easy. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I can show you a couple other things. Uh, the two lower bolts that I told you on that fan, uh, well, one of them is located right here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. And then another one's here. All you have to do is loosen them, and they're not going to be easy to get to. Those two 10 millimeter uh, bolts are not easy to get to. Uh, anyway, Loosen those. You don't have to take them all the way out. Just loosen them. And because those are slotted holes, those slotted holes I showed you before, right there, you got it slotted. Yeah, okay. The, the fan will just pull out. Okay, after you got the fan out, you have to remove then uh, these two hoses. There's one hose here, and then there's another one over here. That's the inlet and outlet hoses to the transmission fluid. The radiator cools the transmission also. The bottom part of the radiator has a little area that, that dissipates heat from the transaxle or transmission, uh, which is this right here, uh, fluid. Okay, so you'll have to remove those hoses. Have a drip pan underneath because uh, transmission fluid is going to spill out when you remove these hoses. Okay, once you have those hoses removed, then remove this bottom hose here. That's for coolant, engine coolant. And then you'll have to remove the upper hose here. Okay, and uh, once you get those done, then all you have to do is uh, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts here for this bracket that holds the radiator. And remove those two, those two 10 millimeter bolts here and pull this off, and, and that's the other bracket that holds the other side of the radiator. And then once everything, the, 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 the two transaxle hoses are disconnected, uh, the two nine, 10 millimeter bolts are loosened down there to get the fan out, and the, all the hoses are disconnected, you should be able to pull this radiator out. And uh, let's see here, anything else I should be covering? I'm at 4 minutes and 44 seconds now. And, oh, also, I forgot also, you, there's a drain cock on the bottom. Uh, you, gotta you also have to drain the uh, uh, fluid from the, uh, the, all the coolant from the engine. That's right there. 
and I got to get my flashlight here so you can see it. That is a drain cock right there. See that kind of a butterfly shaped uh, thing right there, right in that area. That bright side. That's the drain cock. Okay, when you take that drain cock out, you will uh, have uh, coolant uh, coming out, and you'll you'll want a bucket under there. And so here's what it looks like uh, without the fan in there. Okay, I think uh, that pretty well covers it. Uh, good luck on removing the radiator in a 1991 Mazda 626 2.2 .2 liter engine.